<laughs> Friends, good morning. We are back. Hello, hello. <laughs> good to here see you with again. Danielle. <laughs> this is my phone here overheated, uh, which has never happened before. So our apologies. So Danielle, I was just asking you. You know, you have this ambitious project to make maximum impact in Latin America. It has these two sides of the business to it. And you also have two sides of the business, meaning that you are starting this with uh, Gary, your husband. Mm -hmm. How long have you been together with Gary? We have been together for about 10 years now. 10 years and yeah. traveling all around, I imagine. You guys are yeah. surfers. Yeah, we've lived mostly in Central America. We do go back to the US. Um, California and Rhode Island is where both of our families live. Um, but we do spend most of the time in Costa Rica, Nicaragua, El Salvador. <laughs> so how has it been starting such a project with, uh, with, your, with your loved one? It has been fantastic. It has its challenges, but I think ultimately it's helped strengthen our relationship. Um, it, you know, at first you encounter a lot of a lot of different issues, and you have to figure out how to work together to solve them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I would like to uh, to call on Jackie, who has a a very. Uh, very good sense of asking the right questions and pulling out uh, all the best stories. <laughs> so I would like to bring on Jackie and Gary and uh, continue this conversation with them. All right. So yeah, thank you very much, Danielle, for being on and sharing and all that you're doing. Thank so, you guys so much for yeah. all that you're doing. <laughs> oh, well, <All> right. <laughs> an alliance is going to be in the works, that's for sure. Yes. Here we are. We'll just slide on over a little bit. That's perfect, no. perfect, perfect. Uh, hey, guys. We're back. I'm back. Thank you so much, Danielle and Dave, for that amazing segment. Sorry about that random delay. Here I have Gary, the famous partner of Danielle, life partner, business partner, passion partner. I love it. Like, first of all, I want to tell you thank you so much for creating your project and the inspiration that comes with it. I think it's amazing and that you're able to work with your amazing life partner on that. Um, can you tell us the story of how you guys started or how, how, did, how did your, I guess what the question I wanna ask is like, how has your relationship, relationship evolved with the project? It's a constant growth. It, we, we're, all, we're all flawed. So it, we're always working together to better, better ourselves in the process, right? So yeah. we, we are constantly <laughs> we are constantly growing together and and overcoming obstacles together and there's there's times that we both get grouchy right like we'll we'll have multiple <laughs> days on a bus some like busing through countries and yeah and at the same time trying to work together through that and of course so it, it's always a work in progress and i think at all moments you're willing you like it's a constant forgiveness a constant love a constant building of love Wow. Um, and overcoming things along the way. <laughs> oh, fantastically said. I feel like, yeah, sometimes it's like, seems nice to have everything so perfect and nice and everything's flowing and there's no drama and no problems, but how much do you really grow if you have no, no challenges, no choques, no like just things that present themselves that you have to figure out how to, how to work for individually and as a team? I imagine that relates to your business as well as, as your relationship. Um, do you have any stories that kind of represent your dynamic as a couple in your business? Stories. Well, when we met, we met, we, we had an opportunity to house, sit a house in, in Puerto Escondido. And we went down there and it meant quitting the jobs and just going, right? Uh -huh. And we stayed, we stayed six weeks and then we, on a whim, if it was a joint decision that we're just going to, we're going to go to Nicaragua, we're going to bust to Nicaragua and we'll find a way to make it work. And so we went down there, we ended up running an art show. I sold some ideas to a, a cafe for running a, a t-shirt design for them and, and it funded the trip. Wow. And it's, and that then had to bust three days back. And that's kind of been what our life is like, is that you just find a way to make it work. And, yeah. and it can be, you know how they say smooth seas don't make a skilled sailor, right? So it's yeah. been like that. There's been, there's been storms. Anytime you're going to go 
all in on something, there's always moments of of uncertainty and insecurity because you're not promised anything. There's, you know, yeah. and so you just have to flow with it and take the risk and take the risk. And yeah. at all moments, it's been like that. We've been wow. we we've been all in on that for for ten years now. You know, That's riding amazing. the ups and downs of life. Wow. Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. Like taking the risks. And I also think kind of like living in the moment is probably so important for you guys. Like forgetting if, if anything had happened, you know, with the business earlier that day and moving on, like with your, with your pareja, with your couple, I don't know. Like, how do you, how do you separate business and relationship? That's a, you know, it's interesting because you're to do this thing we've been putting in 15 hour days like and that's not even like wow. an overestimate it's been that gnarly but having we have a dog and that's helps <laughs> because when we go too long in a sitting period she'll literally jump up on us and tell us okay it's time to move it's time to play and so then we take walks and decompress and 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 work out anything we might have had together that needs to be addressed and at the same time then discuss something business-wise that had to get done and it yeah and so it's it's about flowing and, and movement and and at the same time exercising is huge making sure we go we take surfs whenever possible helps helps decompress and stress and so it, yes. any any recommendations for the couples would be make sure you're you're taking the time to go on walks make and clear your head making sure you go on and exercise together and have space that you're reconnecting with source and then absolutely and then come back and talk about it together that's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, you're touching on like connecting with nature. I mean, your dog as kind of part of your guys' team oh, yes, lets you sure. know. Probably he's feeling you guys if you're getting a little ten uh, like a little tense. Time for a walk, right? Yep. I love that. And yeah, your ability to reconnect with nature, I think just regrounds and kind of yeah, like is like setting the reset button. I felt the same yesterday. I, I went surfing for the first time in a while and I totally think that was just a complete energetic reset uh benefits us benefits everybody around us and it's amazing that you guys can use that as a tool a lot because you've chosen central america um as your home which i love and that's amazing so what is oh man i have so many questions what what's your vision for your project what's your vision for like the next i don't know six months year what would you what are you hoping to accomplish all right well we want to <laughs> i've got danielle directing me this is a good <laughs> from doing sign language that then i yes. then interpret <laughs> i have no idea what she was nonverbal she's over there like trust <laughs> honey don't go too long into it <laughs> So we're going to create, we're creating the samples right now for the line. And we want to, we want to be able to develop these projects and, and build them up the surf towns in Central America to start. And so with each bit of money, we can put in a new uh, spay and neuter clinic in one of the surf towns. We can help put in recycling into one of the surf towns. We can go into the schools and build a community garden and teach the kids how to grow and reduce the amount of, of waste coming into the trash. Like, so we teach them like, well, look, you don't have to throw this stuff away. Use this for your garden. It's going to help grow. Like, yes. um, you know, if you take this little bit of onion, this onion will regrow itself and you don't have to buy it again. And the same with oh, the seeds from the red peppers. It's amazing. And, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm a teacher myself and that totally speaks to me. I think part of our job as an educator and if you have an impact in a project that reaches so many people, it kind of is our responsibility to teach that to kids, you know, you know, teach them at a young age how to take care of the earth and just implement those values. And of course, of recycling and everything else, it's, it's very needed. And I can speak definitely true to here, Costa Rica. We need that. Yes. So uh, that's amazing. And thank you so much. And I, I love that. Also, congratulations on being able to to, to use your passions of surfing and your own lifestyle, what your needs are as a couple, um, and then creating a project surrounding that, you know, like you're going to do, you're doing this project in surf towns where it's, it's definitely needed and you've got the consciousness amongst hopefully like the surfers kind of are going to jump on this project and the local businesses and everything. And I think, um, going back to a theme of heart centered entrepreneurship, you know, 
I can see that your heart is in this project and I can see that Danielle's heart is in this project and it's absolutely amazing. So congratulations. Well, thank you. And thank you. thank you so very much. It was such a pleasure to meet you. I think it's time to bring David back on here to expose some of our favors. Um, thank you so much, Gary, one more time. I'm going to hug you out. For sure. Amazing, amazing to have you on the show. It's such a pleasure. Come back soon. For sure. And uh, I'm happy to have you as part of our Karma Tribe team. Yeah, we're happy yes. to be a part of Common Tribe. Yes, thank you and so much. And anybody listening, we, we're always in need of help. This is a huge project, so if anybody wants to help in some way, let us know. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And we're going to set, we're going to attach your links over to, um, on, onto this live feed as well. So yes, you can onto see. the post. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, dude. Hi. Yeah. Tell us how we're going to like, you know, connect with them. Yeah. Hello. Right hello, here. Cynthia. Hello, Jake. Great to see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna include all these links for you guys on the post. Uh, hopefully, if you were touched by this, you could uh, support their crowdfunding campaign, buy a cool shirt. The money is gonna go to the very best uh, high impact uh, projects. Absolutely, so I'm excited to support 100% these guys. A hundred percent of the profits. Donate yeah. directly, not not sent yeah. through some funnel weird system, you know. But it's a hundred percent of the profits exactly going straight into the people that they've made contact with. And absolutely. Seen. So next time yeah. you're trying to decide, should I buy a shirt from Volcom or Rip Curl or Acoustic? Well, I hopefully you'll choose Acoustic. Yes, the acoustic, As acoustic collective. Very so, very happy Jackie, to have you guys. Ah, one of our favorite we, times. Yeah, this is really a, a special part of the show. Now, if you're just joining us now, well, we're here representing KarmaTribe.com, our yes. project, a global gifting economy, a network of people around the world willing to help each other for free because it feels good, because what goes around comes around, and because what's easy for one can be hard for another. So... Without any further ado, Woo! Jackie, please. Here we go. We're tell about us, to tell what you the guys. the first favor of the week? Uh, favors of the week. What is, is available on Karma Tribe right now as we speak? First off, we have a request from Abiba in Uganda, Kampala, Uganda. And this is a request for a donated office space. So listen to this, it's extremely unique and amazing. Um, it says, apparently the women are learning to make handcrafts and we plan for them to learn tailoring as well. But it's hard to afford an office space for the women of Kampala. Amazing. Yeah. You know, like they're not they're not asking for donations. They're asking for a space in order to create jobs. Exactly. Which to me fantastic and yeah. amazing. Yeah. And let me tell you a little bit more about this woman because I've been in touch with her. This is a woman in Uganda who is teaching uh uh, women who are unemployed, teaching them little uh, trades and uh, skills like making uh, necklaces, making crafts, making art. Wow. And then they can sell uh, those products and have a little bit of income. So this is a woman very much oriented towards impact in, in Uganda. Wow. And yeah, and they're looking for support. They're looking for office space. They're looking for whatever help anyone can provide. So they're throwing this request out there to the universe. So, I know we do have some Karma Tribe members in Uganda. Sure. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Habiba, for requesting this. I think it's awesome. Hopefully, it's getting some wheels turning, and maybe someone out there can help her. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, amazing. It takes, it takes a lot to request. We've talked about that, and that's a big request. But I know that someone will be absolutely happy to fulfill that. So, yes. What's next? Oh, wow. So, here we have an offer from... Karma Tribe member named One Sweet Tea. Hmm. Now, this is interesting. This is help with swallowing disorders. She says, I am an English speaking specialist in the rehabilitation of people with difficulty swallowing. It's, it's, a, it's a specific type of disease. I think it's called, uh, I forget what it's called, phalangia or something like that. She says, I can provide a live consultation anywhere via Skype, FaceTime, or by email. I understand the burden that this disability has. Yeah. After all, almost everything we do in our respective cultures re revolves around eating and drinking. So I can help you. 
if you have this wow. this this rare ailment. Yeah. Amazing. That's incredibly nice. To me, that's something that wow. It's such a blessing to have someone who actually like has that specific skill and specific passion to help that specific part of the population and yeah. amazing and I know for a fact that people need that I mean come on that's just kind of basic basic human needs not being met there and yeah. someone able to help which is amazing so yeah fantastic so I love that Karma Tribe is turning into a place where if you have even like an unusual illness or disease you might be able to throw out a request or an offer and connect with those people that are that happened to, to know about that. Absolutely. So. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely amazing. Uh, such a diverse, like, diversity in the requests and favors on here. Um, next, we have an offer from Claudio, Claudia, sorry, Liberos from Buga, Colombia. And she is offering Spanish lessons. Tons of language favors going on here. She says, uh, I can help anyone to learn Spanish grammar and about Colombian culture. I, I, I. Ooh, that sounds good. I wonder if she could teach some bachata. Cumbia. Yeah. Woo. I like that. That's Amazing. Cool. So, guys, it's your chance to learn Spanish. Get a little taste of culture as well. I like that. Amazing. Okay. What's next? Next, we have a request from Autonate. Now, he's a pretty active Karma Tribe member. He's had some favors on Bliss and Out before. Indeed. He is now requesting a logo. I would like a logo for my new website. He says, I'm working on putting together a website to host my life consulting and problem solving services called Custom Eyes. It's a fresh from scratch idea. I'm still playing with it. But the idea is to help people identify what they want out of life and see outside the box. I need an interesting and catchy logo for my website. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah. What was it cool. called? Clear eye or Custom Eyes. Custom Eyes. Ooh. That's... Ooh. Okay, Gary's got an idea Gary's for Gary's already got Nate. an idea. He's already inspired by that. Over. Yes. That's cool. Awesome, Gary. And yeah, and this is not the first time that the logo favors have happened through Karma Tribe. Of course, the Karma Tribe logo itself was Karma Tribe to us. Yes. From a guy in Uruguay. And also, this girl named Margie got a, uh, a logo for her business, Pura Playa. Mm -hmm. And from there started an environmental nonprofit here in Costa Rica. So... Lots of logos Amazing. flowing through Karma Tribe. Yeah, what so, a good skill. Beautiful For stuff. For sure. Amazing. We're going to get that need met. No problem, dude. Life coaching. That's awesome. Next, we have... Tell us. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we have an offer from Fort Worth, Texas by Breshley for document editing uh, and grammar. So it's an offer and, and it says, I was an English minor in college and spent a lot of time reading and writing documents for work. If you need help editing, I am happy to. Amazing. So yeah, editing papers, if grammar's not really your strength, reach out, reach out. Yeah, thank you for that beautiful offer. Yes. Briefly, this is great. Next. Without any further ado, we have a request from a certain Esteban Tejeda in Santa Marta, Colombia. Woo. He is requesting English conversation. <laughs> he says, I need to improve my English skills. I say, the people who speak English teach the Spanish speakers. The people who speak Spanish teach the English speakers. Yes. I hope someone is interested. Uh, to help me, and he also said that uh, he'd be happy to meet for coffee or beer. Ooh. This is in person or online. So that's a great request for English conversation. Amazing. And he, he I love how he threw his little philosophy in there. I say that those who speak Spanish help the, the people who speak English yeah. and vice versa, and we can just all live in a better way. So yeah. kar Karma Tribe esque, right there, Absolutely. Dave? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. What an embracer of the Karma Tribe philosophy. That is the man who rides the vibe. He's riding the vibe. All the way to the shore. Oh yeah. Love it. Next, we have an offer by Ana Jimena from San Luis Potosi, Mexico. 
uh, for Spanish classes, so going right along with that last favor. Perfect. Uh, she says, I offer Spanish lessons to English speakers. It could be through classes online, or I can send you some practices so you can study whenever you want. Tell me what you want to learn. Yeah, girl. I love that. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say F Duolingo, F Rosetta Stone. All you need is Karma Tribe. Woo! Wow. To learn your languages. Yeah, why, why is it so much more valuable to, to learn a language kind of in this form through Skype and... Because and conversation, connecting. Jackie, is the key to learning a language. And by meeting a person once a week to talk, you're going to actually learn some useful language. I totally agree with that. Um, I studied Spanish and got all this technical grammar stuff drilled into my head. But could I carry on a conversation when Probably. I first moved here? I'm going to say you couldn't. It was rough. Love, I'm going to be honest. It was pretty rough, okay? Um, and yes, like conversation, friendship, and all those things, within the first six months of making friends here in Costa Rica, it was like, boom, fluency. Amazing. Wow. So yes, I, I totally agree with that, Dave. And I totally agree with um, the conversation-based. Make some friends. Learn the language. It's going to fulfill yeah. your lives. Oh, yeah. We know firsthand. Absolutely. Okay, what's next? This and is last, but not least... We have an offer by a guy whose name is quite hard to pronounce. I'm going to guess it's Jilgs. G-I-J-S. Let's not get caught up on the name. This offer is from Puducherry, India. And he's offering startup coaching. And I'm looking at you, Danielle. I'm looking at you, Gary. Oh. Startup coaching. He says... I can help founders find clarity in their passion, target segment, and business model, whether it's a nonprofit or a commercial venture. My specialty is social entrepreneurship. Ooh. Yeah. You should contact him as well. Amazing. That's beautiful. How just cosmically, coincidentally, our last favor of the week is a, a social entrepreneurship guru in India willing to help anyone who writes to him. I love it. I love it. Hopefully he gets a lot of heart-centered entrepreneurs and we can progress yeah. the amazing projects that are out there. So yeah, everything wow. is possible with, uh, with a teamwork, with collective intelligence, with people coming together with their resources and skills. We can truly work together for a better world. Agreed. Wow, very well said, my friend. What better way than to connect with people all around the world? KarmaTribe.com. You have access to all kinds of help, all kinds of idea sharing, all kinds of great people with great vibes. It's contagious, man. Yeah. I feel great. I hope you guys all feel yeah, so great. Thanks for great. tuning in, guys. Thank you so much for it's tuning in. So nice in. to have you with us. We really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Check out our website, KarmaTribe.com, if you haven't already. It's absolutely amazing, inspiring, uplifting, and a bit overwhelming, but in the best way. Yeah. Uh, so please check us out. Um, thank you so much for tuning in once more. So great to be back. Yeah. And thanks for your patience with our technical difficulties. Yes. Today we had a part one and a part two because the iPhone overheated. But hey, these things happen. And, it happens uh, when you're just so warm. You gotta pick yourself back up and, and keep going. So love thank it. you guys. Yes. We love you. We love you so much. Have an amazing day, amazing Sunday, and bless. Blessings bless to you all. Bless and bliss. Yes. Ciao.